Okay, guys, I'm, I said I promised Jim I would uh, would try to do a video about how I did it. I, I, obviously, this is the second module, module B, and um, I just got finished using the Kingston Data Traveler to uh, update module B. So I'm going to turn it back on. It said to reboot it after I was done. I'm just going to make sure that it reboots okay. It rebooted fine. I'm going to turn it back off. I'm going to, as it says here in the instructions that I downloaded um, from Jim's message after downloading, um, how to check. You have to use two sheets here. It says how to check your firmware. You're basically pressing record and F1, and you're going to turn the module on and it will tell you what your version of the module is. Now, um, when I turn it on prior to this, as you're going to see when we do the other one, it is um, current version kernel 1.02 and firmware colon 1.02. And it says insert USB storage device including only one PGM file and press enter. I just loaded it uh, in the main area on the data traveler and I'm about to uh, I'm uh, going to shut this off now. We're done with this one. It took the firmware that was on there and the the version that was on there prior to this was 1.01, .01, just like it said. So everything went according to plan. Uh, we're going to now, we're going to do the second one. So I'm just going to move this up here and I'll try and get a screenshot after so I can add it in to the video. I uh, Just to make sure that I'm going to check it, I'm going to follow the instructions I was given. Hold record and F1. Turn it on. This current version, kernel 1.01 .01 and firm calling 1.01. .01. It brings up the DT Extreme 3 OS updater. Okay, so like I did prior to this, I'm going to put the USB, insert it properly into the back of the module. I'm going to record, hit record, hold down record and F1 simultaneously and turn the machine on. I already know that that PGM file is there. And it now says insert USB storage device and including, including only one PGM file. Well, those of you who've gotten it through the email do not have to uncompress or decompress it. It comes like that through Jim's file. Uh, it says press enter to load. I'm pressing enter. It's uh, going through its uh, through its cycle. It says now it says erasing flash ROM. Don't shut down DT Extreme 3. It's got a little status uh, asterisk here in uh, different patterns. The whole process takes uh, a few minutes. It's very easy. Writing OS into flash ROM. Don't shut down again. It says don't shut down DT Extreme 3 with an uh, exclamation point. Um, down here there's also percentages. The star pattern, the asterisk pattern have gone away. This is black. Uh, block number one with a bunch of stars and the asterisk seem to move down here like a status bar. Um, like I said, the, the instructions are very, very easy and straightforward. But, you know, promise is a promise. Completed. Now it says on here, everything else is gone except for the, the header and the update from USB device mode. And it says completed. Reboot DT Extreme 3, which I'm going to do right now, which I've read in the instructions. And now I'm going to come and hit, come back and hit record and F1, 
turn the machine on. Now it says firm version kernel 1.02, firm colon 1.02. So I know I did it correct. That's it. I hope this helps. I'll talk to you guys soon.